did actually experiment. And they got uh, 12 T-shirts that were six were worn by people with Parkinson's, six without. And they got her to sniff the T-shirts, and she got it 100% right for the people with Parkinson's. And she got five out of six. And she said one of the people there did have Parkinson's. And they said, no, he's a non-Parkinson person, right? And that's why I didn't get any research funded until two years after that. It's still true. Um, the same speaker was doing the thing about uh, Parkinson's, and he recognized the face. This guy had come to the Parkinson's conference, he said, where do I recognize you from? And he said, uh, well, I was one of the people in the study that wore a T-shirt and I didn't have Parkinson's. Well, I have got Parkinson's. And what subsequently happened, this woman can diagnose Parkinson's 12 years before the medical establishment, 12 years before, and it's all now fully funded. Um, so when people poo-poo this thing about smell, poo-poo is the wrong word with smell, but anyway, um, when people are not happy when we talk about the lack of smell, it's because they don't understand that the body exudes so much that is, uh, you know, toxic. And I would, my, my best guess with the Parkinson's would be that there is some...